All right, 4.3, applying multiplication and division of rational numbers. Make sure you get the date written down, whatever it is, and you get the title, content, language, objectives, and guiding question. So really what this is is that you're going to be um, multiplying numbers together. Uh, one number might be a decimal and the other one might be a fraction, and your job is to either make them both decimals or make them both fractions. So... Uh, look at example one. Each part of a multi-part question on a social studies test is worth the same number of points. The whole question is worth 37 and a half points. Roz got half of the parts of the question correct. How many points did Roz receive? Solve the problem in two different ways. So uh, we're finding half of half of the problem, the question. Remember what of means? Of means multiply. Okay, so we're taking one half times 37 and a half. Now this is up to you. What do you like to do better? Do you like to multiply decimals together better or do you like to multiply fractions together? Um, let's do decimals first. Okay, so I'm going to convert one half to a decimal. We should have that memorized. Okay, a half. And let's take that times 37 and a half. 37.5 times 0 0.5. And we would do the math for that. Okay? And then if you want to do it as a fraction, 1 half of 37 and a half, okay? We would just change this decimal to a fraction. 37.5 is 37 and a half. Remember, this is a half. So we write 1 half times 37 and a half. And then you have this problem. What do we need to do? We need to get mad. So it's going to be 1 half times. Okay, so I'm going to take 2 times 37, which is going to be 74 plus 1 is 75 halves. So 75 halves halves, and that gives me 75 fourths, okay? And then they go ahead and solve it right here for you. And the multiplication of decimals is right here, okay? I'm not going to work it out right now. So my point is that you need them both as decimals or both as fractions. So you're going to be using TBO or you're going to be using um, changing decimals to fractions. And you learned how to do that in elementary school. Okay, so let's focus on this question down here. Serena charges $6.50 an hour to walk dogs. So every hour she gets paid from whoever's paying her $6.50 for walking dogs. She worked five hours last week and nine and a half hours this week. So how much did she make altogether in the last two weeks? Well, the first thing that we need to do is find out how many hours she worked. So five hours plus nine and a half hours is 14 and a half hours. And then for each hour she got paid $6.50. So each hour is um, getting paid that same amount every time, each hour. And that's 14 and a half hours at $650 an hour. So you're multiplying 14 and a half times... Six dollars and fifty cents. You need to work this out with me. Copy it down, write it down, and work it with me. All right, so let's do the zeros first. Zero times five is zero, zero times four is zero, and zero times one is zero. And then let's work, um, let's do the next place. It's going to be the next layer. What do we begin with? A zero. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry your 2, that's 25. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. Carry the 2. And then 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. Now let's do that last layer, the last place, which is the 6. Okay, now before I start, I need to 
go to my layer and this time I'm going to put two zeros. Every time you start another layer of products, you have to put on another zero. So the first layer has no zeros, the second layer you begin with one zero, and the third layer you begin with two zeros, and now let's multiply. Six times five is thirty. Thirty. Six times four is twenty-four. 24, and 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2, hold on, did I do that right? 6 times 5 is 30, 3, 6 times 4 is 24, oops, we forgot to add that 3, so that's going to be 24 plus 3 is 27, and then 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is Eight. Oh my goodness, I hope I didn't make a mistake. Hope you were paying attention to that. All right, now we just add them together. All right, now, boys and girls, how many decimal places is in this problem here, in this number? There's one decimal place there, and how many decimal places do I have here? One, two. There's two here. How much is that all together? Three. I need three decimal places in my answer. One, two, three, and that's where the dot goes, the decimal. So my answer is 94 and 25 hundredths.